lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Those words were uttered by Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This weekend, as we reflect on Dr. King's life, his legacy, and his contribution to humanity globally, let us not forget what he was doing the few hours of his life. He was fighting for workers. He was fighting for sanitation workers, African-American sanitation workers in Memphis, Tennessee in 1968 before he was gunned down. All of us have a right to decency on the workplace. Degree or no degree, every last one of us have a right to be treated with respect and dignity on the job. We voted in 2000, we organized in 2010 the United Adjunct Faculty Association. Myself, Curtis Keyes, my colleagues, Irma Fair Doring, my colleague, Ken Peterson. We organized because we felt that we had no say-so over our working conditions here at East West University. After we organized, we began to get retaliatory actions leveled against us. They have not ceased. 2011, last year, we were able to vote and we won union representation with the Illinois Education Association, Yay! an affiliate of the National Education Association. Why are we out here today? One of the signs said, what would Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. do about East West University? My friends, if he was here, he would be standing out here with us. That's right. He would be standing out here with us fighting for a right to have a fair working contract. We're also, here, also out here because the retaliation has not ceased. I, along with Irma Fair Doing, Ken Peterson, were not offered classes this quarter at East West. I've taught here for nine years consecutively, nonstop, and all of a sudden there's no class for me. So, this is a public outrage and it will be publicized. This is the start of the winter quarter at East West University. Some of you may not be familiar with East West. East West is a small, private, nonprofit in name university. The student body population is about 67% African American, 10% Latino, and the remainder are international students from the Middle East, Africa, Eastern Europe primarily. So it serves a vital need. We are out here because we support the student body and we want to see a voice. We want to see better treatment of the part-time faculty that teach the majority of the classes here. Uh, we have asked the administration to let our email to uh, set a time date where we could begin to negotiate a contract. Uh, to this day, we haven't received any affirmative outside of stall. So, uh, as you know, this is a, a huge, huge battle, and again, one that we will continue to fight and not let up, because beyond the adjunct faculty here, this is more about the students. Students deserve to have administrators who are not treating them in the way that they treat the part-time faculty. So, uh, look for something else to happen uh, next week, all right?